In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome again to the San Damiano Chapel of the Turbo University as we come together to celebrate the Eucharist for the Sunday morning. My brothers and sisters, we celebrate the mercy of God. Let's take a moment and reflect on God's abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah went to Zarephath of Sidon to the house of a widow. The son of the mistress of the house fell sick, and his sickness grew more severe until he stopped breathing. So she asked to Elijah, Why have you done this to me, O man of God? Have you come to me to call attention to my guilt? And to kill my son? Elijah said to her, Give me your son. Taking him from her lap, he carried the son to the upper room where she was staying and put him on his bed. Elijah called out to the Lord, O Lord my God, will you afflict even the widow with whom I am staying by killing her son? Then he stretched himself out upon the child three times and called out to the Lord, O oh Lord, my God, let the life breath return to the body of this child. The Lord heard the prayer of Elijah. The life breath returned to the child's body, and he revived. Taking the child, Elijah brought him down into the house from the upper room and gave him to his mother. Elijah said to her, See, your son is alive. The woman replied to Elijah, Now indeed, I know that you are a man of God. The word of the Lord comes truly from your mouth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You have rescued me. I 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel preached by me is not of human origin. For I did not receive it from a human being, nor was I taught it, but it came through a revelation of Jesus Christ. For you heard of my former way of life in Judaism, how I persecuted the church of God beyond measure and tried to destroy it and progressed in Judaism beyond many of my contemporaries among my race, since I was even more a zealot for my ancestral traditions. But when God, who from my mother's womb had set me apart and called me through his grace, was pleased to reveal his son to me, so that I might proclaim him to the Gentiles. I did not immediately consult flesh and blood, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me. Rather, I went into Arabia and then returned to Damascus. Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to confer with Cephas and remained with him for 15 days. But I did not see any of the other apostles, only James, the brother of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus journeyed to a city called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd accompanied him. As he drew near to the gate of the city, a man who had died was being carried out, the only son of a mother, and she was a widow. A large crowd from the city was with her. When the Lord saw her, he was moved with pity for her and said to her, Don't weep. He stepped forward and he touched the coffin. At this, the bearers halted and he said, Young man, I tell you, arise. The dead man sat up, began to speak, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized them all, and they all glorified God, exclaiming, a great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. This report about him spread through the whole of Judea and all the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is a very unusual miracle. You've heard this before. And you know, for women in those days, not to have a husband... And then to have not to have a son. And you wonder when Jesus raised the son from the dead, who was the one that really came back to life? The mother. But did you notice in this story that nobody asked Jesus to do this? He did not ask for faith. He did not ask for a response. It's the year of mercy. It's always the year of mercy. And moved in the sudden, the words here is, he was moved with pity. He was moved with emotion. And of great mercy, he touches, which is something they were supposed to do, but he crossed boundaries and raised him up. To every Sunday, we get together to celebrate mercy. This year, the Jubilee of Mercy is even a double year of mercy for Franciscans. Because in a little town of Assisi in Italy, on August the 2nd of this year, all Franciscans are going to celebrate the great act of mercy given in a little chapel called Porciuncula. And there, 
with the people of the world and Pope Francis, we celebrate Jesus' continuing work of mercy. I want you to be assured that all your petitions and your prayers, we have them close to the altar and in our hearts, that the Lord may touch you with his act of mercy and give you his peace. Let's rise and profess our faith. I believe in one God. The Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us and in our salvation, he came down from heaven, by the Holy Spirit, who was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead Amen. and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. So let us celebrate with Elijah and Paul and the mother of the young man brought back to life as we celebrate God's great deeds of mercy. Please respond. Lord, hear our prayer. For all Christian people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who hold public office, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are not able to attend Mass in their parish church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who call upon Christ in faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. God of mercy, touch all those who ask you for your help and grant those things that we need through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray with me that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Father Almighty. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable offering to you. Lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have, we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we lost in disobedience. We praise you, Lord, with all the angels in their song of joy. fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the table of charity presided over by Papa Francesco, Bishop William, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, her holy and devoted husband, Joseph, our father, Francis of Assisi, our mother, Claire, Rose of Viterbo, 
the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace, and unity in accordance with your will will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we, invited to his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of myself, Father Conrad, the St. Francis Choir, and all of us here at Viterbo University, please be Assured, your prayers are with us always. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in the peace of Christ.
My brothers and sisters, as we move through this remarkable and beautiful year of mercy, we are grateful that God shows his mercy to us and each and every day as we celebrate the Eucharist. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for your support. May God bless you and reward you and keep you in his own love and mercy every day of this holy year.